This tutorial explains how to remove a legend from a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you different examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is appearing which is called data. And if you click on this data set a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see our data contains four columns whereby the columns x and y contain numeric values and the columns col12 and col3 contain group indicators. So let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed this package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. And after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot, geompoint and geomsmooth as you can see in lines 11 to 14. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing which is called my ggplot. And we can print this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 15 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new ggplot2 plot which shows scatter points and a regression line. And you can also see that on the right side of this plot two different legends are appearing. One legend is representing the regression line and the other legend is representing the points in our scatter plot. So let's assume that we want to remove all legends from our plot. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 17. So in this line of code I'm using the plot object my ggplot that I have created before as basement. And then I'm adding to this the theme function. And within the theme function I'm specifying the legend position argument to be equal to none. So if you run line 17 of the code you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that our plot is updated. And now our plot is shown without any legends on the right side. However you might also want to remove only one of the legends and we can do that as you can see in lines 19 and 21 of the code. And to understand these lines of code we first have to note that one of the legend has been drawn based on the aesthetics argument within the geom point function and the other legend has been drawn based on the aesthetics function within the geom smooth function. And within the geom point function we have specified the color to be equal to one of our grouping columns and in the geom smooth function we have specified the filling color to be equal to another of our grouping columns. And for that reason our two legends are based on the cull argument within the aesthetics of the geom point function and the fill argument within the aesthetics of the geom smooth function. So for that reason we need to set one of these arguments to be equal to none regarding the legend. And we can do that as you can see in lines 19 and 21. So in line 19 of the code I'm setting the fill argument to be equal to none. So if you run this line of code you can see at the bottom right that our plot is shown with only one legend and the legend corresponding to the fill argument of the geom smooth function has been removed. Similar to that we can remove the legend corresponding to the call argument as you can see in line 21 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the bottom right that our call legend has been removed. However the legend corresponding to the regression line that has been created by the geom smooth function has been kept in our plot. So in this first example I have explained how to remove legends after creating a plot. However it's also possible to remove legends already when creating the plot in the first code. And we can do that as you can see in lines 23 to 28 of the code. And in these lines of code I'm using the show.legend argument within the geom smooth function and I'm specifying this argument to be equal to false. So if you run lines 23 to 28 of the code you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that another ggplot2plot is appearing 
and this time the legend corresponding to the regression line that was created by the geom smooth function is not shown in the plot. Similar to that, we could also use the show.legend argument within the geompoint function to avoid drawing the legend for the geompoint part of our plot, as you can see in lines 30 to 35. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that another plot is created, and this time only the legend corresponding to the geomsmooth function is returned. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.